Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We're going to vlog our day. Okay. <laughs> Can I dye my hair first before we vlog our day? No, it looks fine. You want me to get a close up of it? No, it's like <laughs> so bad. And you can't go to a beauty shop now. No, you can't. We got to do all the cutting and, and fixing of the hair at home. Well, let's do our intro. All right. And then I have a bunch of work to do today. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos, we do product reviews, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. That's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. I'm like looking, and one day we need to go through the entire house and change all the lights to match, because I go from room to room, the lighting is weird in every oh, room, because some rooms are like yellow, some are white. This one's got the natural sunlight coming in, so it's like shining on my head can i have a hat why it's really bad it's not that bad well except for you have like a big painted purple spot well that's how all that purple is really white <laughs> and how i handled going to work yesterday and not showing all my white hair is spray painting it purple oh uh, well this is what happens when you live with someone who likes to color their hair all the time i have not cut my own bangs yet and i feel like that is a total success. Yeah, I don't like bangs. And when I get bored or I feel trapped, like I go right for my bangs. I'm going a little stir crazy. I, I mean, yes, we're getting out of the house and going to the office, but I don't know. Like, <sighs> It's something about when people say, well, you're limited or you can't go here, you can't go there. And you get kind of like, but now I want to. I didn't I know. want to before. I didn't want it before. Before I wanted to just lay in bed and do nothing. Maybe I want to go to Universal Studios this morning. Um, maybe I want to go sit down inside of a restaurant and eat. Like, I wouldn't normally, right. but now I want to. <laughs> My thing was, is we were like, hey, we've got like a few weeks off. I'm getting ahead in videos for church. Let's go camping. We keep saying we're going to go camping. We have a friend of ours that has a pop-up camper, and we've been talking about maybe eventually buying one of those pop-up campers, like a used one with mm -hmm. a hard top. So a friend of ours who lives around the corner is like said he has one. We could borrow it. So I'm like, hey, let's go borrow it. Campgrounds are closed. All the campgrounds are closed, which I don't get because they talk about like social isolation. What better way to socially isolate ourselves than go to a campground and we don't have to see or talk to anybody? I don't even, I will poop in the woods. I don't need to new use your restrooms. I don't need to use your showers. I'll I go do. in the lake with the alligators no. to bathe. No. And you're going to have a pop-up camper that's got a toilet in it. You'll just have to clean the porta potty when you get home. Ew. No. <laughs> well, we can't do it unless we put that pop up. I'm I'm ready to put that pop up camper in our driveway. Just so you have another location. Just so we have another location. Well, it's kind of funny when I drive by different businesses that I don't normally frequent, but they're still open. I'm like, hmm, maybe I do want to check out that pawn shop. What's going on in there? <laughs> maybe I do want to go in the auto parts store and try my hand at mechanicing. Well, speaking of stores open, I am going to go take a quick shower and I actually need to run, I'm hoping, 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 hoping they're open to the um, repair shop for all of our lawn equipment. Because see, once a year, for one week a year, all of the different like auto, uh, repair shops for lawnmower equipment, you know, that sells all the small equipment and the mowers, they have a huge sale. And that's going to go on right well, now? Well, that sale is supposed to be this week. And it's I need a new set of hedge trimmers. And bottom line, hedge trimmers, like good commercial hedge trimmers, they're about $550. And this week, they're supposed to be 20% off. 
So it's a huge discount I for us. I really need a pair of hedge trimmers because we've got a bunch of hedges to cut at the church. And I just got another customer that needs hedges works done. And uh, so, yeah, I'm really hoping they're opening. I'm hoping they're falling into that category because our governor has closed all non-essential businesses. But car dealerships, for some reason, are an essential business. I can understand car repair shops, but car dealerships? We need it. We need a new car. It's so right now. I'm hoping that lawnmower repair is, is an essential business. Oh my gosh, who just farted? Tabitha, did you fart? Oh my gosh, look, she's laying down. Like, <laughs> yep, it was definitely me. Look at her face. She's like, yeah, it was me. It's pretty bad. It smells like somebody just went poop in the living room. I don't know, we used to say growing up, the smeller's the feller. So I went to Green Thumb and fortunately they were open. I'm super excited about that. I got a brand new hedge trimmer, uh, saved $120. So yes to that, always like saving money. Also got a couple of jugs of Roundup because they were $25 off per jug. I don't really like dealing with Roundup, but the bottom line is customers don't like weeds in their lawn. So have to deal with it. Now I'm gonna stop over here at Costco uh, because it's right around the corner and they're open and I need pork belly. We were actually going through our freezer and we found out we were completely out of bacon. I can't believe we made four pork bellies worth of bacon. And uh, I just put the last one in the smoker yesterday. So we're down to the last pork belly. So that's about eight pounds of bacon and then there is no more. So I got to run in here and get some uh, pork belly so we can start some more bacon. So Costco was out of pork belly, but they did have paper towels and most importantly, toilet paper. Rachel's gonna be really happy. We're actually going to have fancy toilet paper. It's ultra soft. Charmin, I cannot believe it, but they didn't have any more pork belly. I'm gonna have to go home and tell Rachel, like we're gonna have to start limiting that bacon. What'd they have? Look what I got. Oh my gosh. If you're gonna be stuck at home with people, you better have some poopery. Like, how much did this cost, though? Actually, that was really cheap. It was twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. Oh my god! That is a lot of poopery for twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. We're gonna stink this place up. Ooh, that smells good. You're supposed to spray it in water. I know, but I just farted in here, so it's good. Oh my gosh, that smells really good. It smells really good. Just kidding. It was Tabitha. So I'm trying to make purse bacon. Well. I mean, all bacon is purse bacon, right? But we've been dehydrating bacon. Now this is probably a little bit too thick for regular. That's not a thing for me. But to I mean to dehydrate it properly. Oh, wow. Nice and chewy. But not, not like, I don't like chewy bacon. How many of you guys like chewy bacon and how many like crispy bacon? Like crispy. When you, I want it crispy, like almost burnt, but not burnt. But this is really taken on like a jerky taste mm -hmm. and mouthfeel. Yep. Wow, this is good. Okay, I love you so much. I know we have some, but this is the emergency of the emergency of the emergency of the emergency. I found liquid gold or it's, paper gold. It's not even my anniversary yet. I got, paper, I got toilet paper, but not just any toilet paper. Charmin. You are worth Charmin. How about I at bet least in this situation? You're not normally worth Charmin. Like we buy Scots because you're flushing it down the toilet. I bet you couldn't find Scots, and that's why we have Charmin. Yeah, they only had Charmin. Yeah, but it was expensive. That's why I always buy Scots. Like that Scots, we usually pay like seventeen dollars for thirty six rolls. This was thirty rolls, and it was twenty two dollars. But you sort of have to get a package when I you can get it. I got what we can get. So this is the backup. This is not that we're using this first because it's like cushy on your butt. No, we're hiding this we're in hiding the closets this. and like it's not coming out until we're in a desperate situation. No children allowed. Children, they're going to jump in the shower before they get this. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. He went there. <laughs> and then finally... Another fancy something we never buy. First we of all, never. we don't buy these even no-name brands unless they're like, they have pictures of spiders wow. 
or Christmas trees on them. Paper towels. But I got paper towels. And Man. and the fancy kind. Advanced. Advanced kind. Again. We're moving on up. This means that there was no no name brand to purchase or he would have No, this is all they no had. And also, by the way, it was on sale. So it was $20 and then a $5 off coupon. So he paid $15. But paper towels are expensive. Yeah. Like, why don't we buy them? 12 rolls. And it's normally $20. Like, that's a ridiculous amount of money for something that what's going to happen is somebody's going to spill something. And then with this roll here, that wipes up the one little puddle that's on the ground yeah. instead of grabbing a washcloth or something like We're that. We're big on, like, yeah, just using washcloths. Yeah. <laughs> but this so. is fancy. And then finally, what I do with it... So we put up that video today on 10 things to do to like ease your stress and stay keto on stress. Yes. Well, one of our subscribers, Brianna, we're going to give her a shout out. Hey, Brianna. She said, have a spa day at home. Like whoever you're home with, like, you know, do their nails or whatever. So oh. I'm going to do your hair. Yes. Thank you. So we're going to go do Rachel's hair. I'm going to color her hair as your spa day. To release our stress. Is it going to release my stress or am I going to get more stressed out because you're in my hair? No, the only thing that stresses you out with me is when I cook and you have to clean. Yeah. Oh, you're ready. I got you coffee and everything. Look, Aww, I made your coffee. It is a spa day. Because it is a spa day. day. So you get coffee. What is this stuff? That is iodine. I don't think you watched that video from Dr. Barry. Are we supposed to eat it? Put a couple Drink drops it? every day in your coffee and it will help your thyroid. You want to have a good thyroid. Wow, how many drops? Just It says six drops, one time a day. Dr. Barry said a couple. I just put a whole squirt in my mouth, but. Uh, and then what about this thing? It's, they're both the same thing. They're just two different brands. Uh, but it's getting harder to get stuff like that on Amazon, so I just ordered it. So they're both the same brand. Does it have like a strong taste? Not if you put it in your coffee. Ooh, that's clout coffee. It's my favorites. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Might I ask what color my hair is about to be? Oh, I guess we should do that. We're Not going that it matters. mahogany red. Where did you even get this from? Uh, Whole Foods. It was on sale. Now, at least we're not buying it at the dollar store. Like, two things you should never buy at the dollar store. Pregnancy test. And hair color. Drug test. <laughs> there's, there's a few things. Batteries. <clears throat> I don't know. I guess hair color from the dollar store probably isn't super bad. I definitely don't think I would trust a pregnancy test, though. No. I, I feel like even if you used it and it worked, I wouldn't trust the results. You're right. So Rachel's hair is all done. Now we got to wait like 30 minutes. You look so hot with your hair like that. Transformation about to happen. I have an idea. I think we should live stream with your hair like that. Live stream with this? Yes. You crazy. Hey, you said you were gonna check in with people. I'm getting the camera. You're gonna live stream. Okay, how did it come out? I feel like it came out okay. Looks it's pretty, pretty red. It's not as red as I wanted. I want like carrot top red. That's orange. Well, I like that though. It's hot. Well, this is what you're stuck with for a while. Let's see. Do we see grays? No, thankfully. No grays. Your hair is getting so thick. Like it was like it is straw huge. before. Huge. I know. Thank you, Lord. Well, and perfect keto. You want to go start doing some videos? Let's do it. What are you doing? Relaxing. Yeah, turn that off because like copyright. <laughs> um, you wanna to go to Lowe's with me? What's at Lowe's? Wait a second. Why are you laying in bed at 3 30 in the afternoon? Because we can. Because we're home and we can nap for a minute. This room is so clean. It smells good. Roscoe's in his normal place. Roscoe. Yeah, I'm not like lazing around. I'm cat sitting. Yeah. Do your little hand thing. Watch this with Roscoe. Do the little hand thing. Roscoe. How long is it going to take him to get up? And he's Roscoe. like, you're teasing me. Really? Up oh, there he goes. Now you're in trouble. You can't stop. Yeah. Now this. Now I'm. I'm this is my afternoon now. <laughs> He's old. I know. He's not too cat. old. He's the Cary Grant of the house. Roscoe. Psst, psst. Roscoe. He's too handsome. What I like about Roscoe, if you can get a good shot at him, let me move around like this way. He's got Roscoe. Look at me, Roscoe. 
He's like, we're He's busy. like, stop rubbing him. Oh, sorry. Everything is perfectly symmetrical. Every line on one side is on the other. Everything about he is perfectly symmetrical. I've never seen a cat like this. Like perfectly symmetrical. Every mark, even look at that little mark on the back. It's identical on both sides. It's pretty cool. So you wanna go Liz? We gotta go get wood pellets because there's no more wood pellets. So we definitely need to go get that. We can't let those run out. I did pick up your car by the way. Your car is completely done. Oh, how much did it cost? It was free. Seriously? Completely free. Here, let me turn the camera around. I'm, I'm kind of snug as a bug in a rug right now. <laughs> so, yeah, Rachel made the decision the other day to go to the car wash, which don't ask me why, because that's my job to go to the car wash. Well, I just, I wanted to be clean. So Rachel went to the car wash. She comes home and she was like, um, I noticed like the floor was a little wet on the car. In the back seat. The back seat. We went out, I told Rachel, stand outside with the hose, hose down the outside while I'm inside. And sure enough, like right where the seatbelt is, there's water pouring in. And going into the floorboard. And Yeah, it was running in from the sunroof and then down into the car and then down into the floorboard. So I took it into the dealership this morning. And uh, yeah, she not only did she say like, it's a clogged drain hose. Okay. They fixed it. They took the whole headliner down. They made sure none of the four drains were clogged anymore. And she was like, listen, we already had one in stock. So they gave you brand new carpeting. They pulled all the carpeting really? out and replaced all the carpeting. Oh my gosh. So shout out to Gunther Volkswagen yes, in you. Margate because she <sighs> was awesome. God is so good. So yeah, super happy. They fixed our car. No more leak. And we got a brand new carpet. Yeah. So see on our little flag, there's a bear. Yeah. There's kind of a fun thing they're doing in our neighborhood. Okay. Is they're asking everybody to put a bear somewhere on their property so that when kids are getting some exercise walking around, they can count the bears and find bears and just kind of have like a little scavenger hunt in the neighborhood, which I think is kind of fun because we have to be like socially isolated, but it's nice to kind of feel connected as a community doing something fun for the kids. That's cool. Let's take a look at your car. Here, take a look at your door. Yeah, what's the... Look. Oh, wow. Look, if you lift up the mats, they you're gonna even... see it still has the plastic because it's brand new carpeting. Which Rachel will never take that off. I will never take that off. It's actually not good to leave that on there because of condensation here in Florida. Couple of days. Just give me a couple of days. So we decided to come into Aldi's and we totally score. Score some more Aldi's version of Zevia. We got what? Almost three complete cases. I'm excited about that. And look, our cats are finally not going to be eating out of like one of our three bowls that we have. <laughs> So I used to love this stuff and picked it up. I'm like, oh, not so bad. Look, two total carbohydrates. This little jar has 19 servings in it. Hey, How can much? you give a girl a ride? How much? How much? Look at the sun across my neck. <laughs> now, I would be sunburned in that pattern. You would. That would be kind of funny, actually. Mm -hmm. Let's try to turn it this way a little bit. So we decided to run to all these in a, a crazy different person. area because I was looking for more Zevia because I actually was thinking about something today. So I, when I drove to go to Green Thumb to get my hedge trimmer and then to Costco, I really wanted something to drink. I cannot stop looking at this little patch that you missed shaving. I missed the patch of shaving? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> it's like you made yourself a hair. Well, you know, I did you spa day. I think you should shave me. You should manscape my back. That's what you need to do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're going to need backup. Okay. So anyway, so I thought of a benefit to this whole like social isolation thing. Okay. I really, really wanted a drink when I went out to the store and I stopped at Wawa and I was going to get a fountain drink. Except no fountain drinks, no fountain drinks at 7 Eleven or any of the places, they're all like taped off. And they said, due to the virus, you can't have a fountain soda. So, there you go. So, at least I'm not drinking any fountain soda. I, I mean, I'm trying to be good normally, but every once in a while, I'm still getting a fountain soda because number one, convenience like on the road, and number two, 
99 cents for a big giant 64 ounce soda as opposed to like two dollars for a bottle of diet coke if i want to stop for something i'm trying to figure out what are they using to gauge what is a store that is an absolute necessity that needs to stay open and the ones that like we should close them so like the liquor store still open is yeah. that a mandatory thing <laughs> And then other things like different pet centers and stuff, like, they'll be closed. Yeah. So I'm trying to get a, like, what is necessary? I don't know. There's a list down here of essential businesses that are open. So McDonald's, essential. essential. But, like, other restaurants? Not essential. Not essential. So anyway, we stopped at Aldi's to see if they have any more of the Aldi's brand of Zevia because evidently they're either not getting it in or it was just a special buy. So we came to this other one, and this is a, in an older community, right? A lot of snowbirds that live in this community. I actually, when I first moved to Florida, I moved to this community, right? Because you're so an old snowbird. I, yeah, there's a lot of snowbirds in here, a lot of people who are from Canada or from up north, and they're all leaving real quick because they're afraid they're going to get shut in here, and they don't want to deal with Florida's heat. Yeah. So... Everybody in this Aldi's has like a mask, right? And Everyone. gloves. But I can barely breathe right now coming out of that place. The bleach is just like eating away your eyeballs. When we walked in, it smelled like somebody dumped a gallon of bleach at the doorway. And I feel like that's how a lot of businesses are just handling this. Just g -g 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 just pour the bleach on it. Right. I mean, it, it's pretty bad. Then when you get to the end of the store, it's that... How do you explain the smell of old bleach, oh, right? Like where you've had bleach you. sitting in a bucket and then it's maybe been there for a couple of days and then you go to wash with that or wipe down the floor and it just doesn't smell Not clean right. anymore, right? It smells like rancid, I don't know, rancid bleach. You've Is that a word? A, you've made a worse smell. Yeah. Like maybe you killed something, but like, ugh. Yeah. So, yeah. This is definitely one of those stores where, you know, not being Aldi itself, but the location of this particular yeah. Aldi where there's a lot of at-risk people in this one. I think it's time to change out the mop. <laughs> That's what it is. The old mop smell. That's what it smelled like. It's gone An like old mop smell. mildewy. On the plus side, though, we did get 11 six-packs of the Aldi Zevia. Obviously, no one that lives here is drinking those, so we will drink them. I want to go stop at Sam's Club and see if they have any of those frozen burger patties. Or some pork belly. Or pork belly. Yeah, maybe Sam's Club will have pork belly. Rachel, you've got to come see what they've got. Look what they got. Look. Oh, no, no, no. We're not to that point yet. In that either. Uh, what else they got? Any of weird stuff? No pork belly, but what else is this? Okay, that's only tenderloin. This is a nice fat brisket. No, look at well, they get the, the whole cryo back brisket. That look at the price on that. It's two dollars and eighty eight cents a pound if you get the big thing where you got to split it yourself. So this is a great deal if you find it. Dollar three. That's four dollars. Yep, it is. Why don't you get one for the boys? So we went to Sam's Club that also has a Whole Foods in it so we can minimize the amount of time that we are out and about. Right. So we got a big package of ground beef just because they had it and uh, $2 a pound for 80-20 ground beef. Definitely awesome. going to buy that. So we bought a 10-pound tube, it's a big tube. giant tube of ground beef. And then we bought just a pack of the patties, right? Mm -hmm. The 85-15 patties because it's like $14. Four, I think 18 of them or something like that. And every place is so eerily quiet. Yeah. It's like a ghost town. And even the people that are out are... Like Nobody's a, talking. Yeah, not speaking. I, I did wave to a little girl in Aldi when we were in Aldi because I was thinking like, this is her childhood. It's happening right now. Like you can't push pause on that. Right. And we'll start to, you know, make friends with people that we meet. <laughs> you know, later on. So she, you know, she giggled and smiled and we waved and it was kind of like a funny moment because her dad was like, oh yeah, she's adorable. Right. There are nice people in the world. It's okay to say hello to people <laughs> when you see them. So when we went to Whole Foods, I was definitely looking for this. It is 
don't know if you can see it. The Defend Blend. These little drops are what I use to make our laundry smell good now that we're using the dryer balls. 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 But it smells so stinking good. I want to say that our laundry smells incredible and it never smelled this good with fabric softener. Thank you Will guys. Will you at least admit that? Yes. Thank you guys very much for helping me to make the switch. I am really enjoying it and I love that I can just put a couple of drops on and it smells so good. And the thing is, is our clothes no longer get that rotten, Film. rancid smell, right? You used yeah. to be like, throw that shirt out. It's It smells. It's gone bad. But what that was, was actually all of the oils from like the fabric softener getting into the fabric itself and then like absorbing our sweat and there was no way to get rid of it except for a bunch of vinegar because you're not even using vinegar in our laundry anymore. I'm not. So you know how there's a sad diet right. and when you know better, you do better. There right. was also a sad way of doing laundry <laughs> right? and that involved fabric softener to make your clothes smell good. Yeah. So we ran into Whole Foods just, we just got that and we got some peanut butter because we're going to make the Carrie Brown peanut butter ice cream. So we've got her ice cream cookbook. And so there's a link for that down below for her cookbooks. And I'm excited because you can use, you know, any kind of churner you want, whether you have the kind we have or the freezer bowl. And none of her recipes, as far as I know anyway, for the ice cream are like cooking ones. So this one, you just prepare everything and stick it in the refrigerator for like so three easy. hours. So easy, Rachel can do it. Yes, yeah, so you don't need to make a custard on the stove top and all that. So we're gonna make a peanut butter ice cream. So we Can't wanted to get some that. peanut butter in Whole Foods. It has been a long day. But a good day. It's been productive. I feel like we got a lot done. I got my hedge trimmer. Mm -hmm. We went to Costco. I got some toilet paper. That's very good. We got poopery. <laughs> But that's an essential. A lot of it. Then we went to Sam Club and Whole Foods. It was kind of a day of going out and just making sure we had some food and stuff. And you can never have enough food, especially with Anthony and Caleb in the house. Making sure we topped off the food pantry. Caleb comes to us. He's like, I'm hungry. Can I have four burgers? I'm like, four burgers? It's a grown boy. Right now, that grown boy and Anthony, they're all doing their Zoom meetings. Yeah, they're doing Zoom meetings because they're continuing with the youth group. They're all leaders in the youth group. So you've got Anthony in his room, Caleb in his room, Sarah's out on the patio because they're doing them with like their little groups because they all mentor like the younger high school kids and the middle school kids. So. so it's like everybody is trying to strategize, how do we move forward? How do right. we stay connected but not be together? Yep. Want to go over our deal? So we're doing one meal today. The only thing that I had today was I had a coffee. Okay. With a little bit of Kaitu Super Creamer. And again, we are now affiliates. We just found out. They just asked us to to start working with them. So we're affiliates with Kaitu Super Creamer. So there's a link down below in the description. If you are going to order from them, we do appreciate it if you use our link. It does help support the channel. Yeah. They also gave us a one-time only coupon code. It's 20% off and the code is 2 Crazy Keto. So wait for something good. Yeah. Or if you're going to make a big purchase. But they also have lots of deals all the time. Like... You know, I know when you guys see this video, the one sale will be gone, but they've been running 30% off on like their like holiday flavors, like the gingerbread and stuff like that. So they have deals all the time. So make sure you are uh, like subscribe for their newsletter. Yeah. So yeah, so we haven't eaten anything other than we sampled some beef jerky. We did sample beef jerky because we that did a, a beef jerky recipe today. Delicious sample because there's no more samples in Whole Foods and Costco and Sam's Club. No more samples. No. Yeah. The, I think Rachel was most disappointed going to Whole Foods with there was no cheese samples. Usually you get the sample cheese. The cheese samples. Yeah. So uh, in the next couple days, we should have that video for the beef jerky coming out. So you ready? Here's what we've got. We pretty much both have the same thing. And uh, we've got two of those third pound burgers that come from Sam's Club, 8515 burgers. Right. Both of us have two eggs. Mine are a little bit runnier than yours. Yeah, because I make good decisions. Two slices of our homemade bacon, which we still haven't found any pork belly. That's sad. And then we have, I don't know how many wings, two, four, six, eight, ten... 12, 12 wings, something like that. A 12 wings a piece. And uh, we made these wings ourselves. I made them in the air fryer in two batches. And then we put the salt and vinegar seasoning from 
uh, Buffalo Wild, Wild Wings. Wings. We just have a thing of that, and we just sprinkled a little bit that across top. That is my favorite. And then I'm gonna put some of this Alterna Sweets spicy tomato ketchup on my burger. I may add a little bit of this uh, Red Hot to my wings. And then we've got Rachel's goat cheese. This goat cheese is from like Walmart or something like that. Yeah. Flavor Town. Mm -hmm. Really good. It's good. It's I really like the good. salt. The salt's good. The salt's what Just a little it. bit. Yeah. Really good. Well, that is our video for today, our vlog slash full day of eating, although our full day of eating is right here. About to happen. Possibly some yogurt for dessert, depending on how full we are afterwards. Yum. So, uh, please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.